What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I'm talking about is how to improve your confidence. Now, I know a lot of you out there may be sitting there thinking, oh, I'm not very confident and I've never been very confident. And you might be a little bit skeptical about the fact that you can ever actually build and improve your confidence. But let me tell you that I haven't always been the, the most confident. I still have a lot of areas for growth, a lot of areas for improvement, but I've done lots of things to improve and build upon my confidence. So I can guarantee you that there is a lot of things that you can do to help you to improve and become more confident. It's not a losing battle, you know, you're not doomed to, to failure. Okay, so stay to the end of the video. There's going to be 10 things I'm going to talk about in today's video that are going to help you to become more confident. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, click that subscribe button and click that bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video. But without further ado, let's get into those 10 things. Okay, so number one is traveling or living abroad. So I went to America. I'm from the UK, by the way. Uh, I went to America for about three months when I was 22, I believe, or 21 went over to America to coach soccer or football for those of you guys that are in the UK. Great experience, had an experience of being around other people uh, that were coaches, uh, improved my coaching firstly, but also improved my social skills. You know, I, I made friendships with people who had similar interests to me. Um, you know, I, although I did a coaching degree, I never really found anyone who was that passionate about coaching. So being in that environment where I was around other coaches who were also passionate about coaching, you know, that really helped me to improve my skills, but also to gain some really good friendships and connections. Um, also recently, uh, about a couple of years ago, I was living in Malaga for six months. Um, obviously living in a different country, I barely spoke much Spanish when I went out there. I still did, don't speak that great Spanish, but I was able to get myself by and I think that's a really important skill is to be able to go to a different country and, and to be able to survive in that place. And to be honest with you, I think everyone is capable of, of doing it. You know, as human beings, we underestimate how capable we are a lot of the times and a lot of the time it's just about taking yourself out of your comfort zone uh, and making things up as you go along when you get there okay number two is playing sports specifically i would say team sports so i played a lot of football growing up and i think that was really really important when it came to improving my confidence Obviously, sport is very competitive. There are winners and there are losers. It isn't always as apparent in real life that there are winners and there are losers, but there still is a competition going on. There is a competition for jobs. There's a competition for, for attracting women. You know, there's competition for business and sales. Everything in life is about competition. So if you learn from an early age how to compete properly how to compete effectively that's going to improve your confidence that's going to set you up so obviously if you are in the same position as me you didn't grow up playing sport there's still an opportunity for you to learn how to be more competitive whether it is getting yourself in the gym or you know taking up a new sport playing some social sport even if you're not particularly good it's going to get you used to uh, competing to learning how to win but also learning how to lose that's equally important number three is coming on camera and communicating now I've always been quite a shy introverted reserved person and I still am to a certain extent I don't overly enjoy socializing that much I don't overly enjoy talking and communicating about stuff that I don't particularly have much interest in or I don't know too much about part of the reason for that was the way that I grew up you know I got criticized a lot growing up when I, when I was communicating and coming on camera has really helped me to improve my confidence to 
you know, to put myself out there, even though I know that I'm gonna get this, I might get some negative feedback when I come on to video and talk about things. I know that ultimately I can be confident in, in the fact that I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm discussing. If people disagree with it, then they disagree with it. So if you're in that position yourself, if you're quite shy, you're quite introverted, then I'd highly recommend going on camera and talking to a camera, even if you're not going to post on YouTube or post on Instagram or whatever social media, still getting used to just speaking and communicating is gonna allow you to be more confident in social situations as well. Okay, number four, and this is probably one of the most significant ones for me, is getting in the gym, lifting weights. So, at uni, I started lifting weights, I started training, I went to the gym once with my mates and they all took the piss out of me, they all said oh, how weak I was and it really affected my confidence and basically I never bothered trying to lift weights for another like three or four years. Obviously when I first started in the gym, I was very weak, I couldn't lift very, very heavy weights um, and I still don't lift like majorly heavy, heavy weights but I have obviously got a lot stronger. Um, not only in terms of physicality, like physically stronger, but I've become a lot uh, mentally and emotionally stronger as well. And also obviously I look a lot better. I've put on a lot of muscle mass um, and I'm a lot leaner than I was um, at uni. So getting yourself into the gym, training hard is gonna have a really great impact on your confidence and nowadays, it's less of a macho thing to do. You know, you can go with your mates and I think maybe I had a bad, bad experience, but I feel like it's less of a culture now where lads are like really trying to like batter each other with banter and like put each other down. I think it's much more of a supportive, um, empowering kind of uh, community, especially within the fitness community. So if you're worried about stepping into the gym, I would say don't worry, you know, find a, a gym buddy or find a, a PT, um, someone who's going to help you, show you a few things, um, stay in that environment, become comfortable because once you're comfortable, I can guarantee you that it's going to become something that's very addictive to you because it provides you with routine and it's something that you know that you can go to that's going to make you feel good and isn't going to... Um, have a negative impact on your life like alcohol or drugs or porn or those things that you know they're okay to do in moderation but you always know if you go to the gym you're going to feel better and it's good for you okay number five was to improve my style so my style has changed over the years and my style has always been something that i've been interested in fashion has always been something i've been interested in but more recently, I've become a lot more confident in the way that I want to look and the way that I want to be perceived by others. Not only do I want to be perceived as masculine, but I also want to be perceived as flamboyant and quite, quite extravagant because that, those are elements of my personality that used to be extremely strong when I was a child, but became less and less strong um, as I got older, as I got criticized more, as I felt more rejection, more pain, all the rest of it, you know, I started to close down those elements of my personality. So those are really, really important in me feeling confident about myself is the way that I look, the way that I present myself. So if you are, if you're not confident in the way that you look, if you feel like people don't uh, think that you look attractive or that you have much style or good fashion sense or the rest of it Then that's going to uh, affect your confidence So whilst it's important to wear what makes you feel comfortable It's also important to wear stuff that's so Slightly outside of your comfort zone that's going to make people think oh, that's a bit different um, because that's the way that you stand out and ultimately confident people are happy and willing to stand out Okay, so number six was to start my own business. I started my own business 
uh, at the age of 22, 23, when I finished my master's degree, I started working with sports coaches on improving their mindset. Um, and now I'm 30, so I've been doing what I've been doing, you know, coaching people, helping people to improve their mindset, to think more effectively, to, to be more confident in themselves. So I've been doing that for eight years and I've had peaks and troughs, you know, there's been times where I've been more successful, times where I've been less successful, um, you know, I've become also a personal trainer in that time. So lots of things have changed since that age, but the initial decision to, to start my own business was something that I'm so super glad that I did because it's really improved my resilience. You know, you need to understand that if you start your own business, it's probably not going to be successful straight away. And if it is, then it kind of loses its value in a slight way. Anything that you're trying to do that is significant is going to take a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of effort, a lot of dedication, determination. So there's going to be times where it's not going to go as well. And preparing yourself emotionally and mentally for the ups and downs of entrepreneurship is something that will prepare you for the ups and downs in every area of life, whether it is in the gym, whether it is with girls, whatever whatever it is, you know, there's always gonna be ups and downs. Um, and if you wanna take that leap of faith into a life where you have more excitement, there's more unpredictability, there's more adventure, then I'd highly recommend it and I think it will greatly improve your confidence. So if there is a business that you're wanting to start, I would say go ahead, try it, give it your all. Okay, number seven is working multiple jobs. Obviously, as an entrepreneur, someone trying to grow my own business, coming from a point of not having much investment, much capital, I've had to work multiple jobs alongside my business to support myself. And I'd highly recommend that even if you're in a position where you have capital and you have investment, I would still say it's really important to, 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 do, to do jobs, just to build your social skills, to make sure you've still got that income coming in because whatever income you have coming into your bank account is money that you can reinvest into your business and keep reinvesting and reinvesting. And that's really the, way, the best way to grow it. Not only that, but I think as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, it's very easy for us to become very isolated, very stuck um, in our own minds and very self-absorbed. And I think even if you're successful, even if you're wealthy, even if you're rich, if you're only surrounding yourself by people that have uh, businesses and, and all the rest of it, then you, you kind of lose a little bit of touch with what reality is or not what a lot of people's reality is. Um, and I think that can be detrimental to just having a lot of connections, a lot of social network, um, uh, and, and just generally, you know, helping people and improving people's lives. Because if people can't relate to you, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to help them and improve them. So work those jobs, get those income in, but also work a variety of different jobs. Don't just work the same job for 15, 20 years. You know, I've worked lots of different jobs. I've worked in bars, I've worked in restaurants, I've done sports coaching, I've done swim teaching, I've done a bit of sales. Uh, you know, there's lots of things that I've done uh, throughout my life to, to, you know, to improve my, my confidence and to improve my skills. Um, so the important thing is to be a very well-rounded individual. So don't just do the same job. If you're, if you're getting bored of that job and there are other jobs that you could try that you think that you might be well, more well suited to, then make that, make that change uh, and do that. But obviously the most important thing is that you have a long-term goal of having your own business, something that's gonna provide you with your own income and don't invest too much of your time, energy, and attention into, into the job that you're doing um, because ultimately that isn't the end goal for you. Okay, so number eight has been putting myself out there into the sexual marketplace. Uh, and what I mean by that is obviously, you know, just 
trying a bit harder to attract women, going on dates, going to bars, going clubbing, putting myself in an environment where I can potentially uh, find someone that I like or just ha have some good times, you know, whatever it is, getting that experience is, is really, really important. And it's really important for your confidence as well, just to know that people are attracted to you and that people want you. Um, I know for, for a lot of men, that is a big issue, a big reason why a lot of you guys may be unconfident is because you feel like you're not very attractive, but you need to put yourself out there. You need to put yourself in environments um, where you can attract women or attract men, depending on your you know, sexual orientation, but also put yourself out there in terms of speaking to them and being flirtatious and, and invest a little bit of your time into learning how to be more, more charismatic, how to, to flirt better, how to have a good body language, all the rest of it. So yeah, that's gonna make a big difference to your confidence if you can be more successful um, in your sex and dating life. Okay, number nine is investing your time and your energy into personal development and self-improvement, self-help. Whether it is reading books or listening to audio books or watching YouTube, watching content that is designed to help you to improve your life in some way is going to make you a lot more of a confident person because what you're doing is you're deciding that your time is valuable and that you're only going to invest it in things that are bringing long-term productivity, long-term efficiency, that it's basically gonna grow you as a human being in the future. Not to say that you shouldn't be going partying and you know watching Netflix and, and gaming, and I think there's too much in this personal development, self-help world that's kind of too extreme and says you shouldn't be doing any of that stuff. I think it's all right in moderation as long as you're not addicted to any of that stuff. But you should also be investing your time into self-help, personal development, self-improvement. Just a few uh, of the books that I've found to be really significant and helpful for me was like Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, um, Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, and anything by Stephen Covey, to be honest, I found to be really, really good. Um, but there's also some great audio books, um, some, some great YouTube videos out there as well. So um, just find something that resonates with you, something that, um, you know, satisfies your, uh, your needs and go from there. Okay, the last one for me uh, was doing shadow work. And what shadow work really is, is becoming a lot more aware of the parts of yourself that you keep very hidden, that you are kind of ashamed of or disappointed in or in, a bit embarrassed by. And this has really, really helped me to become more confident, especially with women because if you are in an interaction and you are ashamed of yourself, you're trying to uh, filter yourself because there are certain things that you're embarrassed, too embarrassed to say or uh, and you're embarrassed about yourself and certain areas of your life. That's really going to impact the interaction that you're having with other people. Uh, and not only that, it's, it's more, more about how you feel about yourself, you know. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to struggle in certain areas. It's okay to, you know, to be overweight as long as you're getting yourself into the gym, trying to get yourself into shape. It's all right to be broke as long as you're focusing on ways that are gonna make you income. You know, all of these things are okay as long as you're putting in work and effort into changing them. Um, but I think for me personally, I grew up believing I had to be perfect in all, uh, every single department. I couldn't, have, couldn't make any mistakes. Uh, and that severely limited my growth and severely limited my confidence. So I'm so much more happier, fulfilled and more confident after doing some of that shadow work, becoming more aware of my flaws, my weaknesses, and really owning them and just saying, yeah, you know, 
I'm not that good in these sort of areas and these are the areas that I'm going to improve. So I hope these 10 things that I talked about today will help you to improve your confidence. Go ahead and do them. You know, it's, it's very, very easy to watch a YouTube video and think, oh yeah, I could do that, I could do that, and then just not do them. Choose one or two of those things that I've talked about on, on today's list and put some uh, steps into getting those things put into action, okay? Because ultimately, you know, everything is about action and we can think as much as we want about doing things, but if we don't take action on them, then that's only actually gonna reduce our confidence. That's gonna make us less confident in the long run. So having awareness of what you need to do is step one, okay? Step two is obviously then taking action on that stuff. And that's the most important stuff because if you're, you're aware of all of these uh, things that you should be doing, or aware of all of, of your flaws and your weaknesses and you're not doing anything about it that's gonna make you feel worse not better and the whole point of these YouTube videos is to improve your life and to feel better so take action on this video and with that being said take action subscribe to this channel click the like button if you like this video and I'll see you all in the next one